Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can monitor the progress of your backup in MariaDB or MySQL. So there is a straightforward way that we can use to take a look or monitor the backup progress in MariaDB or MySQL. So we can use one program called Pipeware that that is used to monitor the uh, data through uh, the pipeline so if you have some estimation about your data like how much the file is going to be and all that then uh, we can uh, kind of output that part uh, and uh, monitor that progress um, okay first of all uh, to use that program what you need you need to have that program installed on your server so let's see if uh, I have installed uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually I don't have uh, installed already so I'm gonna go and install it and uh, I'm using CentOS on my operating system on my server and uh, you see that it's trying to get that information but it is saying error uh, nothing to do so it is not able to install this program what does that mean that means uh, I have to install another repository so there is an EPL repository that if I have that then I can install this uh, PV uh, software okay so I'm gonna get that repository first uh, so by using wget uh, and uh, providing this URL I will be able to get this repository and uh, now the repository is there okay great and then we can go ahead uh, and install it okay updating installing completed next part uh, if we would like to take a look uh, uh, here we can um, use uh, yum repo list uh, and that will give us the list of the uh, repositories we have so uh, we can uh, see right here loading mirror caching everything so uh, we have uh, right here give it a second it will come back uh, so we will be all good after that okay great now uh, what we can do now we can go ahead and install uh, this uh, PV I'm gonna clear the screen come back and say sudo yum install PV and it is installing now package PV yes I would like to hit uh, yes and uh, yes and uh, then I'm gonna clear it's completed you might have a problem with seeing this uh, all the messages on the screen all the way so I'm gonna clear this but it is installed correctly so uh, it asked you do you want to install it I hit yes and uh, that was it uh, now once the PV is installed uh, you can go ahead and start using it uh, first of all uh, as uh, we are not uh, PVs uh, your database sizes are different uh, from your backup sizes um, so uh, we have to give some estimation in my case let's say if I will go ahead and say uh, run this uh, root dash P I'm logging into the MariaDB or MySQL uh, I'm gonna clear so I can come on top and show you guys I can use this command uh, to get the database uh, size uh, okay so select uh, table schema as a DB name and then I'm given a uh, taking the data length index length and everything and dividing so I can convert to kind of in MB and uh, from information schema dot tables um, so group by a table schema so that's uh, your database once I hit enter I'm uh, going to get uh, the information so I'm going to get the size of the database so you can see that I have database name here I have the DB size in MB right here so if I calculate all of these databases it's around 300 MB in my case and uh, what I will do here uh, I'm going to use the PV so let's exit from here first of all we'll take a look on the script how it work okay so you will say mysql dump provide all the information whatever the parameters you want to provide then you will say PV and then you say progress and then you say size and the uh, dash dash size and here I provided a 50 just for example 50 m 50 MB and uh, that's where the file uh, backup file is going to be created now we as I told you the backup size uh, is going to be different from the database size so you have to have come up with some estimated uh, size uh, in my case uh, as I know that if I will take the backup of all the databases uh, in uh, what's going to happen uh, my total size is going to be like 330 MB so I can use that one uh, I took the backup for all databases so I know that size uh, so uh, in your case I take a backup one time uh, or if you have just estimated provide whatever let's say your database size is 500 just provide 500 so it will be uh, 
close to what you have uh, you know uh, in the backup so sudo mysql dump dash u root ask for ask me prompt me for password you can provide the password here dash dash password equal to or uh, you can leave this dash p and then pro provide on the prompt uh, all databases i'm taking the backup of every database uh, and uh, then i'm using the pv part of it uh, the size of my uh, um, database is going going to be uh, 325 m and then uh, uh, okay this is the directory where i would like to create the uh, file and uh, the file name is going to be all databases.sql okay hit enter and uh, it says uh, no file directory so okay fine we don't have that directory there so we need to create that directory got it um let me do one thing okay so CT this root and we say sudo mkdir and we create this directory backup directory there now the backup directory is created I'm gonna copy this again so we can paste it clear and then paste it again and uh, it's an in, uh, integer argument uh, uh, expected okay so here I believe is I provided a double dash here that shouldn't be there so that's why so hit enter and uh, let's remove that dash dash and then we should be good okay now everything is working great we have to provide the password and in the password uh, I'm going to say one two three access denied for root user yes when you are trying to connect uh, okay so we have another issue so when we are trying to connect to the server it is saying okay you have there we shouldn't be there uh, it should wait for the hold on let me do one thing now I'm gonna go ahead and provide the password right there so instead of uh, dash dash password and see what happened okay we should be good now I have provided the password right there so you can see the progress uh, right here and uh, it is a uh, progressing the total size we were expecting is 220 325 MB so you can see that it's uh, almost uh, halfway so your script is going to be like you have a uh, mysql dump that you and then you provide the user dash dash password and then you will say all databases or single database or whatever the database name you want to back up in my case i did all databases so i can show you the size and everything and uh, then you say pv progress and size dash dash size and here you will not say dash dash you will just provide the expected uh, size in MB and uh, then uh, you will provide the directory where you would like to take the backup okay so great ls minus la and we can see that we have uh, this mysql folder there so cd mysql go to that directory so we can see when the backup is created and we can see the sizes uh, around uh, three uh, this is in uh, bytes so, so if you convert it this is around uh, 330 MB so we see that uh, uh, how we can use the PV and uh, uh, with the our backup uh, uh, command uh, and uh, see see the uh, progress bar or see the uh, where exactly or how much time it is going to take uh, with uh, this backup the only tricky part is uh, estimating the size of the backup so if you have estimated right size for your backup file uh, that, that then uh, it will have more accurate values so thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video